Good morning, Plumstead Christian. It is Wednesday and it is December 2nd. Okay, yesterday's trivia question was, in the 1984 vice presidential debates, who was George H.W. Bush's opponent? So Brady Stone is the one who emailed me with the correct answer, which is Geraldine Ferraro. Ferraro? Ferraro? I think it's Ferraro. <laughs> and I do remember that, sadly. Yep, I'm old enough to remember that. So good job, Brady. Okay, so today's trivia question is, which European country was the first to allow women to vote? So email me that, and obviously the first person who emails me with the correct answer will be honored in tomorrow's announcement. So I also would love it if you send me a picture when you answer it, but it's okay if you don't. I will use your school picture if you don't send me one. Okay, so the national holidays obviously continue, and December 2nd has three that we are going to recognize. One is the business of popping corn day. The best way to make popcorn is on the stove. So you need oil, popcorn. Always use real butter. And it helps to have a pan that is designated only for popcorn. And top it off with salt. National Mutt Day. Hello. And play basketball day. So I asked our new teachers at the upper campus if they would be willing to send some information about them if they had time. This week is, is a hard week and I get that. But Mr. Hingleberg did send me information and I am so excited to be able to let you guys get to know him a little bit more through this. So he asked me to just read some information, but I'm gonna show you some pictures along the way. So he says he was born and raised in Michigan. He has two older sisters and one younger brother. His favorite color is dark blue. He graduated from Eastern Michigan University. He says, when I was first given a Bible as a little kid, I had no clue how to read it, but I saw my name, John and just looked for my favorite number, 10. So John 10.10 10 has always been a verse that is meaningful to me and was the first Bible verse I ever read. So let me read to you John 10.10. 10. It is, the thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. So Mr. Hingleberg has two kids. Ella is nine and David is six. He has been married to Mrs. Hingleberg for 10 years and they got married in New Jersey. He lives in Clinton, New Jersey now and goes to South Ridge Community Church, which is the same church where Mrs. Nesser goes. He loves being by the water and he loves to fish. He enjoys all sports or games that require taking your time and aiming for something. <laughs> for example, golf, disc golf, darts, pool, and yard games. He's been teaching for 11 years, but make no mistake, he likes to learn more than he likes to teach. He's always on the lookout for truth. His relationship with sin changed when he experienced a spiritual rebirth later in life. Sin no longer has the same appeal it once did. Instead of fantasy football, he participates in a fantasy draft with his siblings for every season of the TV show, Survivor. Okay, I love that show, just saying. His favorite topping on pizza is hands down, no doubt, pineapple. He is not a runner, but a couple years ago, he trained and ran his first marathon. 26 miles in a row without stopping. That's impressive. It took him over four hours, but he finished. Well done. He was born on Father's Day. So that's just a little bit more about Mr. Hingleberg, and we are blessed to have you at our school, Mr. Hingleberg. Okay, guys, let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you so much for your love and your patience with us and your guidance Father, I want to focus today on those who are sick. 
Father, we have so many in our family right now who are sick, our school family. I just pray that you would put your healing touch on them. Father, above all, we pray for your will to be done. We pray that you will give doctors and the nurses wisdom as they treat these patients, not only in our school family, but our extended families as well. Lord, we love you and we know that you are in control of it all. In your name, amen. All right, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's announcements. Never forget, God is good. God is in control and he works all things out for good for those who love him. God bless.